the dissolving of an ionic compound. I dissolved Himalayan pink salt in water. Himalayan pink salt is very similar to table salt and is 98% sodium chloride. It is an ionic compound which is formed when a metal like sodium and a nonmetal like chlorine bond together. This type of bonding or ionic bonding happens when electrons are transferred between atoms. Sodium gives one electron to chlorine. Now that sodium has given an electron to chlorine, it has eight valence electrons and chlorine has eight valence electrons. Atoms are generally more stable with eight valence electrons, the octet rule. Sodium now has a plus one charge and is a cation. Chlorine has a minus one charge and is the anion. You can figure out charge by subtracting electron number from proton number. The attractive forces between the negative and positively charged ions creates the intermolecular forces of ionic bonding, which are very strong. Many sodium and chloride ion pairs make up a lattice structure. The net logo simulation that we used in class helps us to understand how salt dissolves in water. This is a key to the net logo model. Here is the structure chloride ion, sodium ion, and water. In the net logo simulation, we see that when mixing, water molecules move randomly, and when four molecules surround an ion, the ion breaks away from the crystal structure. It is interesting to note that the hydrogen atoms interact with the chloride ion, where the oxygen atoms interact with the sodium ion. This diagram confirms what the net logo model demonstrated, that the water molecules surround the ions in distinct configurations to cause the dissolving. An experiment in net logo demonstrated that increasing the amount of water resulted in more sodium and chloride ions being dissolved. This suggests that ionic, ionic compounds will dissolve more readily when more water is available. Another experiment in net logo demonstrated that increasing the amount of stirring by decreasing the amount of wiggle in the agents results in more ions being dissolved in the solution. In conclusion, ionic compounds are formed by attractive forces between ions of a metal and a nonmetal. The intermolecular forces of the ionic bonds are weakened when water molecules surround the ions, causing them to break away from the lattice structure, and increasing the amount of water, stirring, and or temperature will increase how quickly the ionic compounds will dissolve. Thanks for watching.